Hello, I'm Sumit Jandel for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. The Coral platform for building Edge ML applications recently published a number of new updates, including support for Web USB, allowing you to use the Coral USB accelerator directly from Chrome, a new models repository that makes it easier to explore the various trained models available for the Coral platform, and a new manufacturing demo which demonstrates how to use a single Coral Edge TPU to simultaneously accomplish two common manufacturing use cases, worker safety and visual inspection. We've also released an update for Coral dev boards and Coral SOMs addressing a critical fix for SOC power configuration. Check out the link in the post for more details as well as demos for each of these updates. The full agenda for the upcoming Google for Games Developer Summit is now available. The summit includes a number of useful technical sessions for game developers, like new features and tools for Android game development, Android 12 game mode APIs, optimizing games for Chrome OS, and many more. The event takes place from July 12th to July 13th. To register, check out the link in the post. Promises support for the Maps JavaScript API is now available as of the quarterly release of version 3.45 in the weekly channel. The addition of Promises is part of a larger effort to support modern JavaScript programming practices and patterns in the Maps JavaScript API. Check out the post to see some examples of using Promises with the Maps JavaScript API, as well as links to the full Promises documentation. Google Cloud CDN and HTTPS load balancing now includes support for HTTP3. This update brings improvements to things like streaming video, image serving, and API scaling behind Cloud's global infrastructure. To use HTTP3 for your applications, you can enable it via the Cloud Console or the gCloud SDK. No application updates needed. Check out the post for examples of performance improvements using HTTP3 and more info on enabling it for your applications. We are excited to share the Go Collective, the very first open source project in collectives on Stack Overflow. In addition to being a place where gophers can go to find answers to their Go questions, the Go Collective will be a place where Go community leaders can have a voice and help establish best practices. The benefits of the Go Collective also include being able to find trusted answers faster, getting product information all in one place, the ability to explore new content formats, and a better way to recognize our contributors and help them earn recognition. Check out the posts for more details and a link to the new Go Collective page. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Sumit Chandel for The Developer Show. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week. Yeah, I don't know how to do any chords, so I'm just going to pretend like I'm, I know what I'm doing. Sounds like music. I'm hearing it. I'm just like you didn't know how to go. <laughs>